Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA San Andreas the Definitive Edition. And if you guys enjoy this series, please drop a like because it does help this series out a lot. Now I have my um, uh, head here on the left side just for a moment because I want to show you guys that the um, uh, there was an update today in which they added a few things. They added this, disable target outline so the targets aren't going to glow when you um, aim at them now. And on top of that, they added this, um, the ground um, haze option. I think there's a few more things, but that is the um, uh, the most known thing. And then there was like, additional like you know glitch fixes. But the ground haze is their attempt at making the fog because a lot of players are um, uh, a lot of players were complaining, and for rightful reasons, that there wasn't the fog wasn't in San Andreas. Now the reason people like the fog so much is because it, it showed you like a sense of the environment. So it was kind of stupid when you could see like you know um, uh, all the way Los Venturas all the way from like you know um, Mount Chiliad, or you could see like from the desert you could see like Los Santos. It was just stupid because the environments were different. It didn't make sense. The fog had that atmosphere. This was, this was like a totally different place. However, though the fog you can only see it when you get up to a certain height. So actually, let me show you guys that at the beginning here. So you guys see, there's not really um, any fog. You can still you can still pretty much see um, uh, most of the map from up here. However, if you get to like a certain height, you will see it then. Okay, so it's starting to show up now. Got to get a little bit higher here with this plane, but. So yeah, once you get up to like a certain height, you will start seeing fog, but I still think the original had actually better fog than this. I mean, it's nice that they at least tried to do something, but, you know, I, I still like the fog in the original one. And it kind of sucks how you have to get up like really high to actually see the fog. But anyways, let's start doing proof missions. Oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, we <laughs> almost got shot down here. Black Project, one of the best Hail missions fellow, of all time. Well met. Namaste. Peace, Carl, my brother. Hey, Truth, where you at? Just checking that you are no longer on government business. Where is he? How the fuck would I know, man? He like the devil. Hey, man, you okay? Everything is transient. Uh, whoa, man. Uh, I'm passing through life same as every man. Okay. Do you have any idea what you're doing for Torino? Nah, I seem to be on the need-to-know basis. Oh, no, man. Two lies don't cancel each other out. You know that. We pay them to lie to us. Is that what our founding fathers wanted? No more, friend. No more. We're not alone. Get off me, man. What's going on? Everything is going on. Don't you get it? There's a place, not even on the map. A train is about to leave. It can explain better than I ever can. Boy, this is going to blow your fucking mind. We got work to do. You better drive. I'll explain. The elegance does not even touch it. So he's talking about Area 51, or this is Area 42, I think it's San Andreas. I'm trying to remember the number of the base. But... Hey, true. Do we have a plan here? Go, go, go! Hey, hold up, dude! The truth wants you to get Area 69. Area 42 is in Destroy All Humans. Okay, I was just mixing them up. So now, um, uh, this is based on actually a real, um, uh, a real-life military base, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So you can, um, the black, I think that you always get caught, but, um, 
I think there might be a trophy now in this one where you actually do it without getting caught. But eventually when you get inside the base, they will detect you. Okay, there we go. Well, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Got him there. Okay, let's see if we can do this quietly. I don't know how they don't hear you firing this rifle. That makes, like, no sense, but whatever. It was the same in the original, too. Possible intruder sighted. Condition blue. Set searchlights to tracking mode. This is a code red. All personnel adopt intruder protocols. All towers are cleared to use lethal force. Repeat, lethal force. Lockdown protocols initiated. Blast doors and security tower isolated. Ah, so the control tower has been disabled. I wonder how, though. Um, uh, hmm, let's try this again, see if we can do it quietly. What it might be is it might be that you have, um, uh, you took, you killed too many of them. That's what it might be. If, if, it might be that if you kill a certain amount of them, that you, um, yeah, that's what it might be. Thank you. Okay, stay away. It's not. We, if we don't have to kill somebody, we're not going to kill them. Oh, you... Okay, I thought, thought that you... Pretty sure that you can shoot these out, can't you? Or if you can't shoot them out, you could at least disable them out. Damn, I forgot that CJ does that. Okay, yeah. The auto-climbing can be a bit annoying. Okay, hopefully he doesn't see us from there. So, um, what I was trying to say earlier is that this is actually, um, oh wait, there might be a guy here. Okay, looks like he's going back. Okay, now we have a limited time to get to the blast doors. Oh, no, come on. No, damn it. I'm sorry for my language, but oh my god, I was so close too. You want me to damn, this really sucks. Okay. I I'll probably I'll probably make a follow-up. If, if there is a trophy, now I'm not sure certain if there's a trophy, but if there is a trophy, I'll probably make a follow-up video explaining uh, the best way to probably do this.
Anyway, let's get into that base right now. Damn, I was so close to getting the blast door, and then it just closes on me. Damn, that sucks. I'm I'm pissed about that. That was. Buster now, huh? Oh, what the? Okay. Oh, the... It wasn't an alarm. Okay, wait. It's not an alarm. I thought it was an alarm, but it turns out it's not. Okay, it's just that I was too slow then. Okay, wait, let's see. Oh, we got in. Oh, we did. The, the control room, that will um, disable the SAMs. So we should probably deal with that, too. Um, so is there, like, a trophy in this section? Personnel. I don't... Please okay. Be aware. We are at condition red. This is not a drill. This facility has been breached. All security personnel head to the research labs now. Oh, wait. This is the way... This is that way you come in through there. Okay. Personnel reminded that the downloading of pornography is strictly prohibited. Okay, now we'll go here. The composite lab would like to remind Diagnostic that that fridge is off limits to Diagnostic staff. Could whoever stole the composite lab must please return them. Okay, now there's some weapons up here. All personnel wishing to go to Shazam tonight. Please inform reception at your earliest convenience. And was that? That's a minigun? But I think that gets really RPG. Yeah, I'd rather keep the, I'd rather keep the, the 37 RPGs than get the minigun. So, um, what I was trying to say about this base earlier is that this base, um, uh, is based off of a real-life base, which is, um, Area 51. That's what it's based off of. It's called Area 61 in the game. But Area 51 is, like, a top-secret government base that's in the desert just like this, and it's, um, uh, and it's in Nevada. Which, um, uh, would be not, which would be the same state where Las Vegas is actually in. I think that Area 51 is actually pretty far from Las Vegas, but, um, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, by, by, you know, San Andreas, um, uh, logic, they're going that it's the same, you know, state. It's the desert state also, and so it's going to be here. Um, trying to find the, um, uh, trying to find the room with the Sams. Now, the thing about Area 51, there is so many conspiracies about this base, like, you know, so many conspiracies, like, um, yeah, they even mentioned the aliens here. Okay, I think I think the Sam is back here. I remember I did a video on this on top five things that people didn't know about, and I remember the Sam is in one of these rooms. I'm just trying to remember which room it is exactly. Could all personnel remember that the quarantine breach alarm test has now been moved to Monday morning? Okay, plenty of armor in here, so the mission isn't too hard. Um, I think this is the Sam room. Oh yeah. Okay, SAM site disabled. Now, if you kill all the soldiers in the um, base, the SAM won't fire at you. But if you disable it, um, you don't have to kill all the soldiers then. But regardless, you're going to kill the vast, uh, huge amounts of soldiers. So what I was saying is there's like a lot of conspiracies about like um, about Area 51. And the most common conspiracy is that there's aliens. A lot of people believe that, that there's like a, that the government is actually like housing aliens inside Area 51 and that there's something secret here. There was a few years ago when they had like this whole like, oh great, they had like this whole like storm Area 51 event that people were doing on Facebook, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, I covered that in my Crazy Current Events series, um, it's actually one of my first Crazy Current Event videos, um, okay, um, yeah, I'm hurt right now. I lost a lot of health. So Truth wants you to break into this base and he wants you to steal um, a government project. Find a key card to access it. Please, no more violence. Take my pass card and go. The black project is located at the bottom of the launch bay. Okay. Intruder has penetrated the project. All military personnel to the launch bay immediately. 
Okay, well, you didn't, uh, you shouldn't have ran into fire there. Um, I don't know what that scientist was doing. Plenty of ammo for the assault rifle here. Okay, almost got it all. But yeah, this is definitely one of the most memorable um, uh, missions. And here we go. This is what the government has been hiding here. Um, they've be they've made a prototype jetpack. Now we have to fly out. And now it should be daylight to... Um... Okay, no, that's not it. Um... R1 to increase thrust. Okay. Ah, come on. That's a sixty million dollar project. Get the General Mills on the line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well that's like um that's a bit ridiculous that like okay. At least you got the checkpoint right here, but yeah. So the AI, like I remember like in the stealing the jetpack. All military personnel outside and fire at will. Okay, I barely got any health, but we're getting out of here. Yeah, I barely got any health. I should have probably... Whoa! Okay. I thought I disabled the SAMs! You've gotta be kidding me! I disabled the SAMs, though. I literally went to the SAM site and I disabled it. Why is it... Why is it firing right now? That... This makes no sense. I literally disabled the SAMs. You guys saw it. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna get away. So yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Um, <coughs> excuse me right there, but I disabled the... I, unless I did something wrong, but I remember that if you disable the SAMs, you don't have to deal with them, but... Oh, great. No, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Oh, great. That's so stupid, man. I I mean, I disabled the damn SAMs. Like, I literally went to the room and it said SAM disabled, and now it's like... And the, what? Now they're telling me that I can't? That it's... it's I'm... Okay, looks like we might be able to get out here this time. But I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting clear of the base. Like, I'm going this way, just so I don't have to deal with the, with the Sams. But like, I don't know what happened there, guys. Because normally if you kill, if you kill all the soldiers, the Sams don't affect you. But I disabled the Sams, so that should have, that should, they shouldn't have been firing at me. I don't know what that was. That was a glitch or what it was. But uh, we're getting away here. And didn't the jet jetpack in the original make like noises and stuff like that? But it's not really making any noises here. But yeah, they said, "Oh no!" Shout, shout! Ooh, great! The Sams are firing too here. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get locked on anymore here. But you know, sixty million dollar project. The government spent sixty million dollars on this. On this, this is this is stupid. Like I know it's fictional and all, but sixty million dollars on something like this on a jetpack like this. And, you know, what? what is the purpose of this? You know, what... How is this jetpack supposed to help at all? You know, it's, it's a giant waste of taxpayer money. So I think that that's, that's the whole reason they said 16... That's a $60 million project, because it just shows you the stupid things they spend um, uh, money on there. But uh, let's get back to the base here, then.
Oh, and uh, I almost forgot that you don't actually go to the base. You go to the top of this mountain, and Truth abandons you up here. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, man! Hey, here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a... Ah, uh, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? Yeah. Sneak into the underground facility by setting off the alarm during the um uh, the black project. Oh, so I got the trophy. But you know, I heard that I heard there's no mission replay. Oh, phone call. Hey, Carl, it's me, the Truth. We got a date with Destiny, man. In about five minutes. Where you at? At the old airplane graveyard you've been hanging around. So Truth wants help with one more thing here. Um, okay, and it tells you whether you can export the vehicle at the Easter uh, Basin docks. There we go, that's done. Okay. Damn! Green Goo, next spoke? crazy mission. You got two crazy oh, missions in a row. Shit. Hey man, look out! Oh, the new age begins here. Say what? Not all fantastic things are lies, Carl. Today we'll know everything. Oh, I can hardly wait. I hear knowledge is truly sacred in this part of the world. Man, I've tried, but I can't fight for shit. You better do it. Land on the train, kill the guards, get in and steal the stuff. Oh, yeah? What stuff? I don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> you don't know yet. I was starting to think you was a lunatic. I was starting to think you was a lunatic. What you mean you don't know yet? You'll be stealing the answer. Look, fly the jetpack, land on the train, and steal whatever they least want us to get. Shh. Listen. They're coming. We better go. Peace on Earth, dude. So now, um, uh, he's telling, um, fly the jetpack to the train and steal whatever they want, uh, they, um, don't want you to get. So there's a military train coming through. And now this, um, this military train that what we're gonna be stealing is the Green Goo. And it's heavily implied that the Green Goo is from, um, aliens. So there's this whole theme of aliens, um, the, you know, the conspiracies but the government housing aliens and stuff like that. But, um, in, in reality, if somebody like CJ did something like this, they would be on every single watch list ever. They'd have so many government agencies after them. They'd probably have some secret government agencies that people don't even know about after, after him, too. And CJ would never be able to escape. So, <laughs> you know, that's just video game logic for you, that um, CJ was able to get away with that, but... Okay, now you don't want to fly right towards the train. I like to get up right behind it, because the, the soldiers have actually some pretty good aim in this, and they can take you down pretty quickly. Now, if you time this right, you can get off the train right as it's about to pass the airfield, and so you can save some time. Um, I don't remember which crate it is. I think it might be randomized, but I guess we'll see. Oh, wow. I can lock onto them from here. Wow. I can kill them like this? I just tap it. Okay, wow. Have I already killed all the soldiers? Although there's one more there. There. Crate is empty. Okay, wow. I've already killed all the soldiers. That was actually pretty easy. crate is empty. Okay, it's gonna be this one then. Here it is. Ah. Okay. We have the jar of green goo. Take it to the truth. Okay, and yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it for the mission there. So, a uh, truth does have some pretty crazy, um, uh, missions. 
and there's the train. So, you know, if you, like I said, if you time this right, you can just get the goo right as the train is about to pass by, but I was actually surprised by that. I, I don't remember being able to lock onto the enemies from that far away in the original, so I literally took no damage. I was just tapped it right there. I was very accurate with the, um, uh, the, uh, the machine pistol, and I took them down pretty quickly. You got it, man? I got something. Let me see. Ooh, everything is different now. What is it? Everything. They will call this Year Zero. I'll be in touch. Wait! What is... Yeah, see you around. I like how CJ's basically like, why am I helping this lunatic? <laughs> Asset acquired, and so the air fuel is completed. So there's two, um, uh, there's two Torino missions, or three if you count the flight school, and two truth missions here. 20,000, pretty good. So it's best to complete the truth missions, and you got the jetpack here, so now, yeah, now you can use the jetpack whenever you want, which is nice. So it's actually good to complete the truth missions before you um uh, you go to San um uh, San Fierro, Las Venturas because then you're gonna be stuck in Las Venturas. Though there is one Las Venturas mission where you're kind of gonna be going out to the desert before you do the heist missions. Um, but I guess we'll leave it off here. On the next part, we'll actually meet Woozy at the casino and talk about the situation with the mafias at the casino. So I know this part was a little shorter, you know, two missions, but the next part, I promise, will be longer, guys. Um, I just like to divide my, you know, San Andreas parts into spe specific sections in the story, and this section was the um, Area um, area 69 section. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.